human rights, uh, democracy, rule of law are main values of the European treaties. That's the reason why our conditions being part of the European Union mentioned in Article 2 of the Treaty on the European Union. So, of course, uh, the European Union is too much interested. It's not uh, has a, not a declarative uh, nature, but also it's, uh, it's an obligation for all states uh, being members of the European Union, but also states who want to be a member of the European Union, like Montenegro, like Albania, who have the candidate status to respect human rights. So in that direction, they, they should have in, in, in consideration the standards of the European Convention of Human Rights, but also now, after the Lisbon Treaty, they should have also, uh, the, 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 uh, they should pay attention to the European Court of Human Rights. Now, as you know, uh, European Court of Justice in, in Luxembourg is uh, judging, is, uh, is, is, uh, is, uh, as, the, as, as it is clear that the European Court of Human Rights is part of the European Union treaties, is judging cases having in mind the standards of human rights and combining or uh, discussing uh, uh, standards with uh, the European uh, uh, Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. So now we have a dialogue. Of course, the question of the uh, hierarchy, it's, uh, it's solved uh, with Article 6 of the European, uh, of the European uh, Union Treaty, uh, which uh, says that uh, as, as the, the, at, the, at the top uh, of the pyramid, let's say, it's the, the, the European Court of uh, human rights and the, the, the jurisprudence of the European Court of Justice. But of course, they collaborate with each other to respect the same standards uh, requested from, from uh, the European Court of uh, Human Rights in Strasbourg and now also from the European Court of Justice in Luxembourg. So they have to combine, it's a very important directives. They have the solution, but also the, the national states have to find the proper solutions uh, in the national level and they are the, it is of course an obligation of the states to find to find uh, solutions and to to implement properly the directives of the of the European Union regarding also human rights main things are uh, the prohibition of discrimination and uh, things linked with uh, with uh, the market but now of course uh, we have the charter of human rights uh, which is uh, uh, an excellent catalogue of human rights in general are involved all rights. It's a, a new standard and uh, let's see that the implementation will go further within European Union in the, in the, in the future. It seems that, uh, that uh, the court is operating quite, the court, I, I, uh, the European Court of Justice is operating uh, actually quite successfully with, uh, with the Charter of Human Rights.